How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Radical Computer Solutions YouTube channel. My name is Tom. I hope you're all having a great day today. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to play some uh, PC Building Simulator 2, which is very fitting because here at Radical Computer Solutions, we are a small uh, computer repair and building business. So uh, we're going to start a new game. Yes, I want to overwrite my old game. I'm going to have some fun fixing and building some PCs today, virtually anyway. Local fire suspicious. That doesn't sound good. Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. It's a new day in a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Yeah, I'm sure it mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. Or he had something to do with this because he wanted to collect insurance money or something stupid. <clears throat> so I guess you've seen the old shop, or what's left of it. Sorry I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire, and I've moved them all here. You'll still, you'll still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers question a smoky aroma, just tell them you had to solder, solder something. I also know you'd need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. It should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work, but it might just need a new GPU. So I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in, and check your emails. You're welcome. Oh, I should have also mentioned that I had to borrow 15 bucks this morning for, a brec for breakfast. If I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet with insurance agents on an empty stomach. Uncle Tim. Jeez. Let's get started. Walk over to the delivery boxes that, you're waiting, that are waiting for you at the back of the workshop and left-click on them to pick them up. And it's not much, but we'll definitely get this place fixed up. Ooh, ooh boy. It's rough, but it's better than nothing. You got a RTX 3080. Pick up your PC. Wow, NVIDIA GT, uh, GeForce RTX 3080. Let's not ask how Uncle Tim managed to get a hold of one of these. Now you just need the PC that he sent. Should be somewhere in this corridor. This is where PCs and cases are delivered, and where you need to place PCs to return them to customers after completing a job. Yoink. And yoink. Fixing a PC. This PC needs to be fixed. Left click on the PC case to put it into build mode. The side panel. Take out the screws. Jeez, I gotta do everything. Missing GPU. This PC is missing a GPU. Thank Billy, you, you've just had a very good one delivered. Let's install it to rebuild the PC. I don't like using PCIe locks unless we're building something for a kid, but it's fine. Take off the PCIe covers. Oops. And graphics cards, grab this thing, shove it in there. Wow. And go here, install the PCI lock again. Plug this bad boy in. Install the side panel. Screw it in. <clears throat> Oops. New piece, your new PC is all ready to go. Carry it to the workstation to your left and place it under the disk. Yoink. And turn it on. I if I can change the... Uh, change the like difficulty settings so it doesn't show me the everything in the um 
what do you call it, a tutorial. Oh my gosh, I cannot think of words today. Oops. Uh, leave that on. Never mind. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fun for people. Stupid display thing keeps coming up, even though I have tried to uh, uninstall it, close it and everything, and it just keeps coming back up. But anyway, that's a computer. Oh, good. I'm in the hole $15. Let's check our email. Welcome to your email. This is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check it every day for new jobs and keep on top of your business. Inbox. Select this email. Greetings. My name is Casante, and I'm an urban aesthetic innovator and artist. I'm currently working on an ambitious project about perceptions of danger, and I need my PC to be painted completely red to match the color of the rest of my room. Is this something you can do? Peace. Casante. Of course I can paint it red. On the way. Customers' PCs take a day to arrive so it won't show up until you end the day. You accept jobs by clicking on this folder. Left click to have a look at this job. Hello. I went to get my PC fixed at your shop, but found only an empty space and a pleasantly smoky aroma. I gather that you're no longer in business at that address. He would give you that idea. A passing firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email to see if you're still taking on repair jobs. My computer has been very slow lately, and I fear it might have a virus of some sort. Could you please take a look at it and sort it out for me? Best wishes, G. Aubin. No viruses. We can totally do that. Yoink. First job. Let's see how to do a job and make some money. This customer's PC needs a virus scan, so take it to the workbench for a diagnosis. Link. Customer wants any viruses removed from their, from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with virus removal software. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. Well, let's plug it in. I have to plug everything in manually. That's fine. Eventually, I'll get that power up that allows you to just plug everything in with the click of one button. But for right now, this is realistic, I suppose. Turn it on. Select the monitor. Add or remove programs. Install the virus scanner. Sorry if it seems like I'm annoyed. I really don't mean to be. I actually really like this game. Scan critical locations. Press the scan button. That's a lot of viruses. And dig down. Boink. Great job. This job is complete. You have removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the clients. Pick a PC up with right click and place it in the corridor. Continue. But first, I'm going to do something. Actually, I don't have a tablet yet, so I have to go back to this computer. See if he wants me to do anything else. Uh, slow lately. Cool. I'll open the side panel up real quick and see if it needs to be like uh, dusted out or anything. Occasionally, that's a thing that can get you more points. Looks perfectly fine. We'll put the side panel back on. Screw in the thumb screws. And stick it in the hallway. Great. The PC will automatically be sent back to its owner. Now you just need to collect your pay. Go to your email and hit collect. Gosh, this place is a dump. Collect. Huzzah. At 120 bucks for just scanning for viruses. The PC is on its way back to the customer, and you've been paid. On to the next job. The other PCs and the workbenches are now available, so check out your emails to see what the customers want and complete their jobs to earn some extra cash. All right. My GPU needs water cooling. Hi, I'm currently water cooling my PC to cope with temperatures here in the forge. 
but I'm nervous to do the GPU by myself. It seems very complicated. Could you please water cool my GPU, GPU and set up the loop for me? Donna. Sure, why not? Custom water cooling a GPU. This customer wants you to water cool their GPU and add it into their existing water cooled loop. To do this, we need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Let's get started. Or are they going to start by undoing the side panel? Taking off the PCI lock. Unplugging the graphics card. This is a uh, EVGA GeForce RTX 3090. Very nice card. Move to the workbench next to you to add a water cooling block to the GPU. Dunk. Click on the GPU. Yeah, we have the GPU on the water cooling workbench. We need to add a GPU block to it. First of all, we need to remove the screws and the heatsink. Let's do that. As a side note, all this stuff kind of makes me very nervous in real life. Because I'm sure you can mess up and, uh, you know, break it very easily. But anyway, left click on the old thermal pads to remove them. Blank, 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 shoop, shoop, shoop. My god, this thing is annoying. Sorry, guys, I'll do my best to try to remove that um, stupid uh, frame rate thing up in the upper left hand corner that keeps showing up. I apologize if that's annoying. Okay, now we need to apply some new thermal pads. Left click to select them. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Next, we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important part of PC building as it increases the efficiency of heat transfer between the CPU and its heat sink, helping to prevent the CPU from overheating. Make sure that you always refresh the thermal paste when working on a customer's PC. Cotton buds. We're going to use cotton buds and isopropanol to remove the old thermal paste. Left click to select the buds. Left click to remove the old thermal paste. Magic. Exit. Thermal paste. Hold left click to apply the thermal paste. That's probably too much. Well, add a GPU block. Adding this GPU block. We're going to screw these. Screw this back down. There we go. Flip it over. GPU to store it in the inventory. Nice work. GPU has been successfully water cooled, so take it back to the PC on the other workbench to install it. Very not lighted in here. What does this say? Check cables. Check the cables. Never noticed that before. Anyway. Uh, great, the GPU is ready to go back into the PC and become part of the water cooling loop. To begin, left click to continue. Install. Graphics cards. This thing. Pop it in. Screw it in. Cable. Blink. Sorry. Plug it into the power supply. And add pipes and create a single loop to allow the water to flow around and cool all the water cooled components. So let's start here. Hold left click to select this water pipe connector. And connect it to this. And connect this to this. Connect this to this. And connect this to this. Boom. And we're gonna install some coolant. Personally, I think I should do red because that is our company colors. We're going to do this one. Boink. And then we're going to patiently wait for a minute or two to 
Make sure that it fills up the entire loop before we turn it on. Well done. The GPU has been installed and is now part of the water cooling loop. Replace the PCI lock and inside panel. Then make sure the PC can boot to the OS before you take it back to the delivery area. We're gonna put the uh, PCI lock. Boink. And the side panel. Shwoomp. And then we're going to plug everything in. USB goes in there. The HDMI goes there. Come on. And the power goes there. Hey, how about that? It works. Huzzah. Check the email again real quick, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're good. So this job is done. Doink. By the way, you would never do that. Just, you know, pick up a PC and unplug it while it's running like that. That's very bad to do. Do as I say and not as I do. That's just cords everywhere. I hate the shop. Collect the money. Got 270 bucks for that. Oh boy, overclocking. Uh, that kind of makes me nervous. We'll save that one for last. That one's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, hello, I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish, but I've recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other fish. Now my PC no longer matches. Sad face. Can you do rainbow lights? I'd like one of those nice walking effects, please. Set all RGB lighting to rainbow effect and set to walk mode. This is probably like the easiest thing we'll have to do. The lighting app allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs. For this job, the customer wants the lights set to rainbow for the walk effect. So let's get started. Access the monitor to begin. Click on the lighting. Select all. Uh, we want... Rainbow, we want, excuse me, walking. Excuse me. Uh, make sure to take the PC back to the delivery area and collect your rewards when you are ready. The loading app can now be installed on customers' PCs using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. And look at all that beautiful RGB. Fabulous. Put it out here. Boink. Give me my money. 220 bucks. Bibbidi bibbidi. All right. So, dear sir, sir or madam, here at the South World Country Club, we host a very popular cheese and lan. Cheese and lan. Never heard of that before. Cheese and land soiree every year, which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notoriously proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I am sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine. It should be, as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. Good lord, you overpaid for that. But the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be eternally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert Ferrier, OBE. Overclock CPU to at least 4,375 MHz. Okay, we're going to do this for the Catalina wine mixer. It's the Gosh darn Catalina wine mixer. Overclocking a CPU. For this job, we need to overclock the customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables and select the monitor to get started. Dish into the PSU. Plug the mouse in. Plug the HDMI in. And plug the keyboard in. Eh. Overclocking the CPU is performed in the PC's operating system, or BIOS. 
to access the BIOS, you need to hit the F2 or delete key as it boots up. If you don't press one of the keys in time, then the PC will boot to the OS as normal and you'll need to restart the PC and try again. Press the PC to power up the PC. Or, sorry, press P to power up the PC. Tongue twisted there. So we're going to power up the PC and then hit the delete key. Or hold the delete key. There we go. This is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. Select the CPU OC menu. For this job, we are going to overclock the CPU. So select the CPU OC tab. This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC, but you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. Okay. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give 4000 megahertz. You can tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you, you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. Increase the CPU core ratio to 44. This increases the CPU speed to 4400 megahertz. Boom. Increase the CPU's voltage to 1.35 volts. As the CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable, but don't go too high or this may damage the CPU. 0.35, that looks good for a stable overclock. Click on the settings tab so we can apply the new values. Left click the apply changes and restart option to, well, apply the changes and restart the PC. Go figure. Note that if the PC can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will blue screen and reset itself to default settings. Bye. Yes. Let's see, did we do this correctly? Huzzah. Double click to open the OCCT app. Note that normally you'll have to install OCCT yourself using the USB stick. Welcome to the OCCT app. OCCT can be used to stress test the CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. To begin, left-click Continue. Left-click the On button to begin the test. Let's see, wait for the stress test to complete. Do do do, waiting, waiting, waiting. I really have to sit here and wait for like 30 whole seconds? Jeez. The nerve of some people. Or started test done monitoring. And we're done. A successful test. Congratulations, the CPU remained within its operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Take the PC back to the, to the delivery area and collect the payment from the email. Overclocking is complicated, and you can damage your hardware if care is not taken with settings. We recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to use OCCT to test their stability, which you can download using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. We are done with that. Place in the workshop delivery area. Boom. And we're going to go here, collect the money. Woo, $320. All done. Phew, just one last thing to do. Let's give your business a new name. Go back into the hallway and left click on the business's name panel. Sam's Red Hot Repairs. Well, you know what we're going to do with that. We're going to change it to Radical Computer Solutions. Apply. Looks like you're now the proud manager of Radical Computer Solutions, even though I'm technically not. Don't worry, if you change your mind, you can rename your business at any time. That's everything for today, so go to the door in the hallway to continue. I'm going to be the responsible person and 
got the lights off. Actually, hold on. So anyway, uh, that is, I believe, where I'm going to end this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe the video, if, uh, if you're so inclined to do so. And drop a comment down below to let me know what you think of the video and anything you think I can improve on. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.